going to real Kiwi fishing this week. Steve-O and I still in the north. What we're going to be doing today is a little bit of soft baiting. Going to be doing the whitewash around the shallows, around the ledges, close in. See how we go and then we're going to head out wide and do a little bit of deep water soft baiting. So we're just going to see what the difference is, what's going to produce for us. We're going to spend maybe an hour or two just heading along this coastline here. Doing a bit of soft baiting in the whitewash, in the shallow. See if we can pick up a few fish and then we'll head out deep probably around that sort of 30, 40 metres and do some deep water soft baiting and see what sort of produces for us through the day. So hopefully we get into a few nice fish today. I hope you guys enjoy. We're hooked up guys, we're hooked up. Oh, to our first fish in the shallows. In that whitewash. It's not big, but a good starter. Just casting in around this whitewash. Everything's getting washed off those rocks. Oh, he's not a bad fish, Stevo. Start the morning off. Nice little kelpie. There you go. Nice kelpie mooching in around the rocks there. Saw the old bruised banane and said thank you. There you go. It's a little fella. It's going home. Nice little fish, Stevo. one for the shallows. So we're sitting in about 10 metres of water here, just casting over into that whitewash, pretty close to it, just let it sink down slowly, keep an eye on your line, your line will be an indicator. And then just work it back. up again guys just moving along the coast come around the corner a bit Got this nice little island out here hooked up again nothing big but still a lot of fun real nice terrain along here Ten meters of water. Another little snappy, Stevo. Oh, oh! Did Stevo get a hit there? Just a little fella. He's probably about getting close to forty centimeters. But he's going home. That is the great thing about soft baiting. Pretty much hooked in the corner of the mouth every time. So you just got this real nice terrain here. Just slowly moving down the coastline. A lot of stuff getting washed off here. Just 
should be a few snapper mooching in here. Steve It's okay. It's getting up there. Get him home. Guys, I've had to go solo. Steve's not. Oh, Steve's not feeling too well. So I've had to drop him in, which is a bit of a bummer. It's a perler of a day, but it's pretty much our last day. Get a little bit tiring, tired, and seedy. But um, just got to try and hack it out as much as you can. But yeah, poor old steve is not feeling too well, so just drop them on shore and I've come out. Oh, no. No, that was a nice fish, guys. Nice fish. But yeah, I've had to go uh, go solo. Thought I'd come out, maybe just do an hour, hour or two out in the deep. Do a bit of soft baiting in the deep. Bugger, that was a nice fish. Oh, back in, back in guys. Oh no, no, no. Might have to 
check that soft bait hook. That wasn't a bad fish either. So yeah, I'm just out um, on the 30 metre mark. Thought I'd come out for an hour or two. There's quite a lot of fish here, guys. Oh, no, I'm going to have to check that hook. There's solid fish. Oh, yep, hooked up again, guys. Back on, I'm back on. Not as big this time. But still feels like a nice fish. Definitely a keeper. So basically I'm just drifting, drifting along not casting, not moving very, very fast. So I'm just drifting along, up, back down to the bottom, up, back down to the bottom. Very rarely even letting line out to hit the bottom again. Because we're not really drifting that fast. So when you're in that deeper water, as long as you stay in contact with the bottom, A little fella for the bin. Jeez, it was a um, pity I dropped those better fish. They were quite nice fish, those. This is a nice, nice little fish. Nice little eater for the bin. There you go, the deep providing. One for the deep. The great thing about the uh, the old softies, especially the Z-Man, she's ready to go again. It's one thing I love about these Z-Mans, they hold on for a very long time. So I'm just in that deep water like I was saying. Just let it straight down. Didn't cast. I'm in 30 meters of water. No need to cast. I'm not moving. I'm probably doing about a knot. So there's no need to cast. And I'm just straight up and down. Hitting the bottom. And we're in. There you go, just straight up and down. Pretty much just yo-yoing it up, let it float down, hit the bottom. Yo-yo it up. Float down, hit the bottom. This feels a little bit different. Not too sure. Maybe a trevally. Do you get the odd um, reefy out here? Which would be nice. Might even pick up a few reefies on the old softy. Oh, and it's a John Dory. Thought it was something different. Little Johnny on the softy. He's probably just about big enough to keep, I think. Get a good fillet out of him. Another one for the bin. Yeah, boy. And she's ready to go again. How's that? So just straight down, no casting. 
at the bottom, yo-yo it up, work it, catch a fish. Nothing too hard about that. If we had a little bit more wind that was that's pushing me along, the line would be further out. You can either cast up, work it back, but because I'm in deep water, I still just drag it, let it hit the bottom, work it up a couple of times, let a bit of line out because you're getting a little bit further away with that wind blowing you along and you just work it the same way, just a couple of jerks up, down, let a bit of line out when it hits the bottom again, do it again, a little bit of line out. So I might sort of do maybe five minutes of that and then it gets sort of too far, wind it in, start again. And the way that I do it, I'm no pro at soft baiting, but I just use my thumb on the spool, hits the bottom, yo-yo it up, let it down. This is when you're more in the wind, let line out, hit the bottom, yo-yo it up, down, hit the bottom, line out, yo-yo it up. So that's how I do it. Like I'm saying, I'm no pro at soft baiting, but what I do is work, so if it works for you, you just keep at it. Oh, a little tap there. It's on the way down, so I keep 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 in touch with it. Sort of keep in touch with it because I'm in the deep. Rather than letting the line too slack, you can't see the fish grab it. Up, just slowly let it drop, keeping the line tight. And then you'll feel a bite on the drop. It's just a little bit different when you're in that real deep water. Hooked up again, guys. Just another, another little snap. Feels like the good thing is, is although it's nice to catch those big fish. You know, one or two is nice, but these smaller ones are nice to keep in coming out of the deep. They come a little bit quicker up out of the uh, deep. And they um, normally perforate the bow. So it isn't um, too bad to actually catch these smaller ones. Because they're nice eaters as well. There you go. Not huge, but a very nice eater. Like I was saying, you can see them puffed up there. So, we'll chuck them in the bin. In guys just another little fella for the bin at least if I can get him in feels a little bit better than that last one Maybe like uh, the other one I've got in the bin. You can see the bubbles coming out. Not a bad little fish. Getting up there a little bit more. It's probably up around close to that 50 centimetres. The one for the bin. On the old banana. Bruised banana, doing its thing. There you go. Another one for the bin. up again guys feels a little different feels a little different
not really fighting like a snipper. So we might be into a reefy maybe. If we're lucky. Get a bit of a variety for the bin would be good. It's just a dead weight more than anything, so. Might even have a granddaddy. Oh yeah, boy. Pia's gonna be happy. He loves his granddaddies. And although it's not huge, the great thing is he eats most of it, everything but the head. So we'll chuck him in the bin for Pia. Oh, I'm hooked up again, guys. I'm on again. It's not a bad fish. This one's a snapper. He's not big, but he's a decent one. That deep water soft baiting can be a lot of fun. That's for sure. The old CD Extra Sense and the ITX 4000 that is a great soft bait rod, that's for sure. I've got the message from Steve O, gotta go get him. So, this will be our last fish, guys. Not sure if we'll make it back out, we'll see how he feels. He reckons he feels better, so we might be able to get out and Get him onto a couple of fish. A little bit nicer fish for the bin. Oh, a little bit nicer, guys. How's that? It's not a bad fish. He's getting close to that, maybe 55, maybe even 60 centimeters. It's not a bad fish at all. There you go, guys. How's that? Nice little fish for the bin.